remove a less competent chess human to make. Play that game. What attack will be the square on your side of the chessboard as well? I see it. It's not going to hide. I'm just going to castle that way right now because I can predict the future. That's, ooh. Ooh, aren't you clever? Aren't you clever? Now, why? Because now if I go there, I double pressure. You're going to give me your central pawn enemy? Why would you do such a silly thing? I don't understand you. But it's not my job to understand enemies. It's my job to win chess battles. Sure. I'm going to be up a central pawn. So I take it now or later? There, I'm spending too much time. Then you have one. Two, one, two, trace. I could castle. It's a fine to castle. Or that would be acceptable. Then you should batch right there if I castle. So we're going to go ahead. We're in the lead. Focus. Convert, convert, convert. What are you doing? The silliness. Take, then I take. Do we pin stuff? Let's pin stuff. So you have one, count captures two, and one, let's pin some stuff. Now you must be smart because my king's super safe, friend. And with that horsey pin, I can win pawns if you don't do something to take my pawn. I had help. You can't because my pawns are fantastic. Your bishop is not fabulous. That was a bad move, friend. And by friend, I mean enemy. Because now your bishop must retreat. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> and now my pawn is free to steal stuff or, or kick stuff. I apologize. Okay. Built some trades. Sure. You should be here. So if your bishop goes anywhere, it can't really, because then I'll go here. I'll threaten that pawn. So in the interim. Now let's freeze that. Let's freeze your bishop first. Go in the corner. Get away. Your bishop can't your bishop won't, because then I will. Until the open file. Quick.
double, making the world simple, I'll double my rooks on this until you provide an escape square for your king, which could give me some attacking chances. And then you'll be have to, you'll have to be very careful about moving your bishop at all because then I'll have double threat checks. I'll trade rooks. I'll win a check game. Sounds easy enough. Be a little quicker here. Comfortable lead, but it's not, I mean, it's, it's probably winning, but it's not dominating. It's way ahead in development. Our king is safer. Pawns are better. And these pawns don't know what they're doing there. WGM, why, why would you do like Theo Bell and Kai says pawns are the GPS of chess? My pawns <laughs> are leading me to the promised land. Okay, so where is your knight wanting to go? I don't understand, sir. I don't, I don't follow your plan. Probably because you don't have one. <laughs> huh? I'll pin stuff. Okay, so you want to go here. Huh. Interesting. Where's your knight going to go? It's not going to go anywhere constructed. I know where that helps you, for sure. I could also go here. I kind of like that. Could move away. Oh, shh. A little bit too quick at you. I'm also one move away from kicking this knight away, which will allow me to steal pawns. Go here. Try to get this one. better chess than this because when I go here you will not have time to steal me because I would be threatening your rook your knight has nowhere it can go that can support the rook coming to the soon to be open b file I'm better at chess like I said okay so now I can have stuff go here 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 okay oh so you you know because it's pawn will cover that we're fine oh man Isn't it sad to be you? I think I had to pawn that one first because then if you go here, then I will have double threats. I'll steal stuff. I'll win a check there. You can have my rook, I believe. Do I have Nugget Bell? Here, then you can go there. I think, and then go fast one. Go two. Go four. Wasn't the cleanest, but it wasn't the dirtiest either. I know it sounded real creepy, as I kind of intended to. Funnier joke. Oh. 
take our pawns. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Woo! What's that enemy? You want me to finish you off? I'd love to. Yeah, it gets lonely. It does get lonely. I go boom. You cannot go anywhere. You have to lose. <laughs> it, I love waving my white flag. I really do. I was going to show my content station where I have uh, this skit, what I call a loose script I was planning set up. Got my piano, got my iPad with the sheet music, and my notebook where I'm identifying the parts I would like to include, and then the parts that are essential, and then the whole song in case I'm feeling really frisky and I have time to memorize the whole damn thing, which is rare. I got a good memory, but it's not quite photographic. <laughs> but I just like winning jazz battles a lot more than I like doing content. I just did that. Woo! Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a glimpse into my uh, into my content mind before I, we analyze that ass kick. And it's not even close. <laughs> oh, I don't want to spoil it. That would that would be spoiling it. Okay, that one was too recent, and I also had a a, a very interesting situation actually. Let let's actually go through this. I'm I'm gonna rant for a second because this is maddening. The reason I'm recording today instead of my normal time, which I will be more consistent going forward, is I executed a flawless video last week. As you can see, I'm a big Lupe Fiasco fan. The song key is G major, which is essentially what I'm writing down. That was the riff on guitar, which of course translates to piano, music as a language, and then my loose script. Which I was a little too wordy, but I was at 1797 Blitz intentionally, so I could get to 1800, get an award. I would then pretend like I didn't have it all scripted, but man, scripts are for losers. Then I would have LinkedIn open, logged in, with this post ready, and I did. And then I would add the badge, and I'd post it, saying, you know, I'm shy, but we don't want to lack confidence or appear to be lacking confidence. So raise them till your arms tie. Let them know I'm here, that I'm struggling, surviving, but I'm gonna persevere. Yeah. Ain't nobody leaving, no. Because we got to kick and push. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. and come. Woo! And then that was my optional stuff. If I wanted to include that in my skit, I could. Chose not to. And, and, but then when I posted the badge, for some reason, I don't know if it was a chess.com thing. I don't think it's, a, it's not an issue. But I didn't use, post it to LinkedIn correctly, I guess, because it didn't give the image. I want everyone to see I'm 1800, but it just posted one of those, you know, LinkedIn URLs. It's like encrypted. No one's going to click on that. So then I was mad. I'm, like, I'm going to restart now, and I lost some Blitz games, and then I played my Rapid Battle Mad. I lost it, and I went back down to like 1800 because I was so mad, and that's why I struggle with online or, or apps in general is it can be so addictive. I need to go on dates and shit and try to find a wife. Anyway, um, so that was my minimum. And break before rapid time control, as you can see, I was going to do an hourglass and then play some Lupe on the alto sax. Um, probably be his backing track because my voice wasn't doing doing good. I might have had COVID last week. And then one rap regardless, kill video with less than 10 second outro speech. And then I was going to hype up next Friday's. I had my beat cam. I had everything. And I had my jokes ready. Lost a lot. The good news is not only am I back to my peak, I'm better than ever. I'm 
rapid, which is the only online format I care about because it's impacting my over the board growth. I can't be doing this to myself. The small advantages when it comes to chess.com's fabulous puzzles and stuff, it's not worth me being tired and distracted over the board. I got to stop. I didn't move to St. Louis to be an online chess player slash streamer. I want to be the real chess player, real deal. But yeah, <laughs> I was doing so good after a month detox. I probably played like 100 games now. Just absurd amounts of chess. How many have I played? Um, <laughs> however many are on a page. Times. Good lord. Okay, so it turns out after that loss, um, I played for however many are on a page times at least two and a half. Wow. So I'm not here to be perfect. I'm here to have fun, promote chess, and be the hashtag late booming chess prodigy. And that's what you just saw. Game review. And I'm tired as shit, by the way. I couldn't sleep. Let's analyze, shall we? Black? Oh, Dave, why don't you... Some people, some people have some interest in board as black when, when they're much higher rated. They have nothing to gain, and, you know, rating's important for you for you adult adult improvers. Which, I, if you ever call me an adult improver, I do not care how big you are. I don't care if Levy Rosman shows up with Magnus Carlsen and all their friends. If you call me an adult improver, we're fighting. And not over the chessboard, because adult improvers tend to not, you know, be competitive against professional athletes. But don't remind me, okay? See, let me just let it break out. Yeah, that's, ah, oh, that's fine, because I knew I'm better. Really? Rusty? better but not that much better see can't be getting cute like that but typical of my victories I play more than well enough in the middle game to make up for my lack of interest in studying opening theory and I would say decent to nothing more than decent in-game technique. I just know general rules, or general best practices, I should say, such as my pawns are good, my pawns are real good, my pawns are together, enemies are not, which you heard me say earlier in the battle. I know, you know, generally in the open, knights move first, so the battlefield can clear up. give me a better idea of where my bishops should camp out so I can assassinate thy enemy. But I don't study gambits or tricks. Like My, my thing is, if, if a below 1800 level over the board player, which is what I care about, is over the board chess. I want to be a chess player. I just understand I have to do this. Because even the very best chess players, very few of them make a living just playing. So I'm, that's why I'm here. But it, it if a below 1800 level player can trick me with some gambit or major major piece sacrifice in the early middle game, if you, good for you, good for you. I'm not going to waste my time on it. Okay, that's fine though, right? For real, let's get deep. A lot of times the way I play, which I think this is a good sign actually. A at an initial glance, the engine doesn't love some of my ideas. Over the board, I'm talking again. Uh, which might be why many top players prefer chess base to analyze their over the board. Which I should probably do the same, but I think I have to pay for that. And I'm already a chess.com member, so here I am. But at a deeper view, my odd or disliked moves are not so bad. Okay, that was just bad though. And online chess, short time controls, it's easy to get excited, which is why you gotta be careful. Online chess is a great tool. Chess.com is a great tool. Don't develop bad habits if your goal is to actually get good at chess. It's an entertainment platform. First. Yeah, I believe you heard me considering d6 during the game. That gives you an advantage for real? If you play d4, which you did. No, you didn't. How does that win you anything? Because what if I just take... Oh, well, duh, so that's obvious, because I can't, yeah, think of 
because I can't do that. Or I have major problems with King Six. Okay, I see now. That doesn't matter because I want the chest back. Okay. E four was considered. I'm I'm too concerned. I'm actually. I wouldn't say I'm an aggressive player, but some believe we can tell a lot about a person's personality by the way they play chess. Yeah, well, depends. Because there are situations where once I've taken lectures or, or talked to a grandmaster about it, which I've talked to some grandmasters about it, I wouldn't say we're friends, but they know they know who I am. I have a good memory. They remember me after I get their autograph. But a lot of times I just hadn't seen a position or, or had a game where a concept applied yet. And online, I tend to fall back to, well, human nature, which is conservative. I was up a pawn, lower rated player, I'm better. We saw that. Just play super, super safe. And that's how I went online chess battles, but that's not how we do that. Okay, I thought it would be fine to just pin some stuff. Likes queen h3 and bishop f1. Either way, you got to remove the pin. Enemy removed the pin, so it's a fine move. And then I considered rook g6. Rook e8. Uh, I see. I, my goal was to beat my competition. Bishop e3. Which is why, in the open section of the St. Louis Chess Club's monthly tournament, I've not been doing well, though I did get a draw against an 1846-rated enemy. Because once once I lose the better players and I see how they're beating me, that's the key. Do we understand how we're losing, why we're losing? What did they do better? And then we can fix it. And that's why it's important for me to not play Insomnia chess like I am. Because though I'm winning very comfortably, I might add, I'm not doing things as well as I could. That'll change. You'll see. All right. I'm undecided on if I will post another video tomorrow. I really need to get control over my online chess addiction. But here's what I know for a fact. Pitbull was in town performing at the fabulous Hollywood Casino Amphitheater here in St. Louis, Missouri. And as Pitbull says, let's do it tonight. Grab somebody sexy, tell them, hey, hey, I will love you tonight. Hey, give me everything tonight. For all we know, we might not get tomorrow. Let's do it. Woo! I see that I am, what's that, 28? I am three to four victories away from 2,000. And then I might actually quit chess, online chess, for the year. Because I'm not much better than 2,000. I'm definitely 2,000. As far as being anywhere near that next tier. Because 2,000 is when I, when I think, like professional streamers, like if they see a 2,000 rated streamer or sub, like when they have their sub battles, if Botez or even Gotham, which Gotham's significantly better than, well, I mean, he's better than Alex. But, but not not to throw Andre under the bus, but because I, I root for Andre, but like he's, he's quite a bit better than most professional streamers. Um, but if, if even Gotham Chess saw one of his subs was 2,000, he'd be like, okay, I have to try it. I'm not, I'm not going to just talk and be funny. I'm going to try to play chess. He can't just show up in a faster time control, at least. And so I'll get to 2,000, and then the next mark that matters, I think, is 2,100. Because once I'm 2,100 on chess.com, it doesn't mean that over the board or in classical time controls, I'm going to be competitive with, like, Anna Cramley and Gotham, Botez, is a lot of the, the big-name streamers, nor, nor do I – that's not my goal. But I would be comfortable challenging. Them. Like, Anna Cramley said, if Tyler 1 reaches 2,000 
she will offer to play him. And and she and she knows she would mop the floor with a 2,000 player, especially one like me or Tyler. Who, well, maybe not me because I've taken some lectures and I understand some, you know, some chess ideas. Tyler doesn't. Tyler's just pretty smart and he's intense. But 2,100, and I would not be afraid of you know, Anna Kramlin and many of her peers in an online format. And then I'll start talking about some major shit. Yeah, and Tyler's given up, whereas I'm thriving with ridiculous amounts of energy and passion for chess. <laughs> or I am the hashtag late blooming chess prodigy. Hey, if you started playing online chess, or, or I, even better, over the board chess, after COVID or because of COVID, I would love to challenge you. Let's be friends. Hell, come to St. Louis. Let's hang out. Not because I care. Because I want to know that I am the highest rated athlete who's never battled. Well, except for the kids that sit around and do puzzles all day. Okay, there's a nine-year-old. Forget her name. She's a big deal. Represented, I think, England in the in the Olympics or something. Man, good for her. But she's a child. I'm a grown up. Of the adults who started battling after COVID. I need to know I'm the best. And if you think you're better, come at me. Come at me with anger, with self control, with love for chess, or I will decimate your hopes and dreams. Until next time.